I'm Greg Danks, Damage Prevention Liaison for Philadelphia, Bucks, and Delaware Counties. Today we're taking a look at our newest application, Online Ticket Management. Online Ticket Management was designed to combine the functionality of Excavator Designer Web Access, which allows you to search for tickets that you've called in, Facility Owner Member Web Access, which allows you to search for the tickets that you receive as a facility owner, Tickets Nearby, which allows you to search for tickets on a map, and Web Ticket Response, where facility owners and locators respond to receive tickets. On your first entry, you'll see a pop-up asking if mapping.pa1call.org can access your location. You're going to want to choose yes, because this is going to impact your map display moving forward. If you're a facility owner or their agent with only one call directing code, the application will automatically select that. If you have multiple CDCs, you can select them from this drop down here. So to show you how it works, I'm going to select QQQ, which is one of our test codes. Now for users who are both facility owners and excavators, you can toggle between the two views right up here. Notice when I click Excavator, the dropdown changes and allows me to select a phone number associated with my account. And this box up here shows your user ID, company, the level of access you have, and the current date. For today's demonstration, I'm using our development site and have admin level privileges. As a result, you'll see a few options here that may not exist with your login. So first, let's walk through the facility owner's functionality. I'll select our test code, QQQ, and our default view has a toolbar along the top and this map down here. The toolbar has options that should be familiar to you if you're a regular user of our applications. So we have tickets, and as you click them, you'll see a drop down here. This allows for access to ticket searches based on facility owner member web access available options. Facility owners, you can use this to access lists of tickets you've received. From here, you can view a ticket, either by clicking on this ticket icon here or by clicking on the serial number itself. You can also see it on the map view by selecting this map icon or you can click on this guy right over here, the pencil in the box, and you can respond to that ticket through a drop down here and include any necessary notes as you post your response. We can filter through our tickets by type and by location. So if we just want to see all of our update tickets, we can select them here. If we just want to see our damage tickets, we can select them and only view those. Or if we just want to view our emergency tickets or our design tickets to make sure that we're responding to all of them, we can select that from this drop down. For facility owners using member mapping, this exclusions button here will allow you to view all of the tickets placed in your municipality that you were filtered out of based on your mapping. This can be very useful if you're using 811 to check against your permitting. But notice that there's also a direct link to it right here on the main toolbar. We can also go through our delivery totals, search for a specific serial number, and access municipal activity reports. Next one over is the response menu. This allows users to access the CDC responses, either individually or detailed, or search for a specific serial number. And as I click the detailed here, I can see each ticket by clicking the link here, or I can see what my response was to them on the menu over here to the right of that. Notice that every time you open a new window, it's going to open in a new tab. So you can either close it up here or you can come over here and click this close window. Messages here allows facility owners to view their broadcasts and end of day reports. Make sure you're checking those end of day reports, especially if you're using web views as your delivery method. If this report is showing tickets that you can't find or didn't receive, please call member services ASAP. And this reports tab here has a list of available database searches that return information in an organized format specific to the user and purpose. So the last thing I'm gonna show you for the facility owner toolbar is this gear over here for our settings. We click on that and we'll come to user preferences and notice that you can select widgets. So let's just pick a couple of the widgets here we're going to see tickets not responded to, last tickets responded to, and pending deliveries. You can select a default CDC if you have multiple CDCs. So now that we have a few widgets, we can go ahead and save our preferences. And let's head back to the main window. And voila, 
we have widgets here to access a lot of the information that we, need, we needed to dive into the menus here for, and now it's available right at our fingertips. Now let's get back to the map here. Because I allowed PA1 call to access my location, it already has dropped me where I am at POC's headquarters in West Mifflin. The top of the map has options to enter a specific address or to zoom in to any county and municipality in Pennsylvania. We have our regular street map, we have a satellite view, and we also have a POX view. Select whatever view you're most comfortable with. On the left are zoom controls, and this box here refresh as I move the map. While unclicked, I can navigate the map all I like, but any tickets I have aren't going to automatically populate there. If we want to see the tickets that we have, we're going to need to click refresh as I move the map, and we'll need to move ourselves to an area where we have tickets. Red dots are emergency tickets, and blue dots are non-emergency tickets. To view any of them, just click on the dot itself. You can either see where it is on the map, or you can view the ticket. So excavators, let's take a look at your options. I'm going to switch over to excavator mode. You'll notice my, my widgets went away because I haven't set excavator widgets yet. Remember, if you're both a facility owner and an excavator, you will have this option up here to toggle between the two views. Excavators are presented with the same basic layout design as facility owners. The menu bar and widgets are based on phone number and ticket searches, and they're packed with the same functionality you, you are used to finding in Excavator Designer Web Access with the added benefit of this map search. The phone number in your dropdown will be used to run any of the queries you select from the menu bar. You'll notice fewer options than the facility owner has access to. After all, you can only view the tickets you've submitted. You can search a specific serial number or view a list of tickets that you've called, as well as responses received for that ticket. So here's all the tickets that that particular phone number has called in. And then if I want to look up a specific serial number, I can do so just looking for the ticket, or I can go directly to the responses for the serial number. And you can view all of the responses that you've received for a specific ticket. Don't let any of these companies not responding mislead you. This is a test ticket. So in the real world, of course, every facility owner is required to respond to each ticket and mark by its due date. You can also jump directly to the responses by clicking the option on the menu and entering that ticket serial number. Excavators have their own options over in user preferences for the widgets as well. So let's select a few of those. Save. My preferences have been updated. I'm going to close that window. And now I have access to all of that information right here on the main page without having to dive into the menu. So that's the Dime Store overview of our newest application, Online Ticket Management. If you need any help navigating the application, reach out to your local damage prevention liaison. We're happy to help.